So tonight's FAI Cup game has gone to penalties. It's finished 1-1 here at Turner's Cross. We think Cork City won the toss, so have opted to choose ends. So first penalty of the evening to be taken by Chris Forrester. Right footed, he scored in normal time. And he's also scored in the penalty shootout to put the Saints 1-0 up here. And the first taker for Cork City is going to be Dylan McGlade, who of course is a former St. Pat's player. Crowd of 900 in, in here at Turner's Cross for this evening's game. Around 60 or 70 St. Pat's fans as well. So 1-0 to the Saints in the shooter, but here is Dylan McGlade. Against Vitislav Yaros McGlade, and it's a really, really good penalty from the Cork City winger. Right into the bottom corner. Yaros, the Liverpool Loney, who turned 20 recently, went the right way. But was unable to keep it out. So next up for St. Pat's is Ben McCormack. 18 years old, has made a really, really good impact in his first spell in senior football against 40-year-old goalkeeper Mark McNulty. So the experience of the goalkeeper against the youth and the ability of Ireland under international Ben McCormack. He's a right-footed player. We're at the Cork City shed end. Cork fans behind the goal, McCormack. And it's another great penalty. A shush from Ben to the Cork City fans. So four penalties taken. Should I say three penalties taken. The Saints lead by two goals to one. So Barry Coffey is the next penalty taker here. On loan with Cork City from Celtic. Scored Cork's equaliser in injury time. And he will take their second penalty of the evening. We're giving you the best view that we can here. And he's put it over the crossbar, Barry Coffey. Off target, a disappointing penalty. And St. Pat's now in the driving seat, leading 2-1. So it'll be Jason McClelland to take the third Saints penalty. Crucial one here. The goal here would put the Saints 3-1 in front. Our first left footer taker of the evening. And here comes McClelland. And he has sent Mark McNulty the wrong way to make it St. Pat's 3, Cork City 1. Cork have only taken two penalties though, so can draw back to it in one. With a goal here. And it looks like Dara Crowley will be the next taker for City. Great game here tonight, 1-1, late goals from Chris Forrester and Barry Coffey. And a really good atmosphere inside Turner's Cross. So here is Crowley against Yaros. And it's a save from the St. Pat's goalkeeper. He's been in brilliant form this season. He goes away on Saturday with the Czech Republic under-21s. And that is a big, big save. He made a couple of top stops in the game itself as well. So St. Pat's now leading by three goals to one. So it's Alfie Lewis... A goal here, and the Saints will be into the quarterfinals of the FAI Cup. Lewis against McNulty. See if I can get you a better view here, folks. Here we go. Alfie Lewis, the Saints in pass to the quarterfinals. And he has done just that. The Super Saints are into the quarterfinals of the FAI Cup. Thanks to a penalty shootout win over Cork City here. A big, big victory for the Saints. And great scenes here in Turner's Cross. You can't beat a penalty shootout win. And the Saints are into the quarterfinals of the FAI Cup. What a victory. Alfie Lewis scoring the winner. Vitislav Yaros, the 20-year-old goalkeeper, the hero in the shootout. And the Saints are into the last eight after a penalty shootout win here at Turner's Cross. Big, big win. And we're looking forward to the draw for the quarterfinals. On Tuesday evening, it's on Game On, on 2FM. And we'll have interviews coming up soon with players and staff, hopefully to reflect on a dramatic night here in Cork. But the Saints are through to the quarterfinals.